Parece um nanico. Aonde pensa que vai levando a minha televisão? Fred, eu só queria ver a Show TV. Show TV? Hum, isso é só no YouTube. O programa se delete vai começar. Vamos, não vou te emprestar meu tablet e leve minha TV. Shudino Saco TV Blog Brasil presents Sydneyland. And now your host, Walter Sidney. Oi pessoal, hoje vamos falar sobre Jack Bradbury, um excelente, incrível cartunista que trabalhou para os meus estúdios, do Walt Disney no caso, há muitos anos atrás, sempre com muita galhardia e um filho dele deu entrevista para o blog e chute no saco do Luiz. <risos> Isso é muito legal, vocês podem conferir lá no Chute no saco.blogspot.com Então, vamos curtir aí a história de Jack Bradbury e seus melhores trabalhos. Um, I'm Jack Bradbury and uh, recording this uh, in our home in Beezumer Hill Road, Ithaca, New York. I'm 72 years old and going strong. I hope. <laughs> so, my dad was born in Seattle. December 27, 1914. He worked for the Disney Studios on animation, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Ferdinand the Bull, Bambi Fantasia The Wind in the Willows Silly Symphony, the Farmyard Symphony. All of these movies were produced during the 1930 years. He left the studio in the early 1940 and after World War II ended, he joined several other cartoonists. Our parents found a house in Newport Beach with enough bedrooms for our dad to have his own drawing room. And it was here he did all the Disney comic books. In addition to the Disney characters, my father also drew comic books featuring the Walter Lance stable of characters, the Warner Brothers characters, and Bob Clampett, Beanie and Cecil. His renderings of the Disney characters were so alive and so faithful to the source material that Walt Disney himself reportedly told the Western editors that they didn't need studio approval of anything that my father drew. The publishers would send our father a story with some very rough small layout suggestions. He would then compose it on the larger drawing sheets draw the art have somebody else put in the lettering, and then ink it in and send it to the publishers. Our father was very careful when drawing animals, other than the standard characters. Since the time, I was interested in biology, and had a lot of field guide books. He often came and borrowed my books to draw a parrot, or a bat, or a weasel. It was wonderful to have our father working at home. He always had a good sense of humor, loved his wife and children, and was a very devoted family man. He continued drawing for Western until 1969. 
That's when he started having eye problems, reticular degeneration. In total, there were 1,300 works, between drawings and scripts, just for the Walt Disney Company. My father left us, in May 2004, aged 89. I really enjoyed the two virtual comic books you sent us, in 2016. And we love this tribute to my dad, here in the first episode of Sydney Land. Louise asked me to say a few words to introduce his new website. There are people in the world who think that cartoons are only for kids or that they are a silly, unnecessary luxury that don't add much to our culture. Anyone, especially someone like me, who is the child of a well-known cartoonist, knows that this isn't true. Cartoons provide a reflection on our lives that is almost impossible with any other medium. A good cartoonist can capture expressions, movement, changes in ways people act, all in a few pictures which are static and not moving. This is not an easy thing to do. Drawing something that is somewhat realistic but also partly exaggerated takes a lot of creative ability. If you don't think so, try drawing the caricature of one of the important politicians in your government or someone in your family. I bet you can't do it easily. It is very hard to pick out certain features that are there that you don't really notice and exaggerate them so that the public looking at the picture will immediately recognize who it is and their expression. In addition, cartoonists often tell us things that nobody else is going to tell us. In comic strips, comic books, animated movies, we often see points of view that are usually not easily depicted otherwise. So I would suggest you look at this site and enjoy these cartoons as something very special by some very special artists. Have fun. Ué, mas já acabou? <laughs> Como o tempo passa depressa? Bom, agradeço mais uma vez a presença de todos aqui na Sydneylandia. Até mais. Música